It seems that many groups were mocked when they talked about a ninth planet. For the last few decades, the human race has increased its technology. What we thought was once impossible we're now doing. This can be seen in recent advancements of robotics and artificial intelligence. However, one thing we are focusing on is space. Interestingly, researchers and scientists have come forward and said that they've discovered something massive in our solar system. They've described an object as being large and lurking in the outer reaches past Neptune. Interestingly, although NASA are now coming forward and saying this, allegedly theorists who studied ancient maps and calendars have said that our ancient ancestors were aware of this object thousands of years ago. You may have heard about this planet before, and that's because it's made the news for allegedly being on a crash course with the Earth. This didn't happen and it painted the whole Nibiru planet as being nothing more than a fictitious story. There's said to be two stances on this planet. The first being that there was indeed a group of people that thought this planet was going to make contact with the Earth. These were known as people who had alleged powers and were told that something massive was going to impact the Earth. And they were given the date of 2003 when the alleged planet would come into our solar system and wreak havoc on everything nearby. This didn't happen and so the date was moved to 2012, where once again nothing happened. Then there's another group that says ancient texts are pointed towards there being another planet that every so often makes itself known. And although some individuals have been mocked for believing in this, it seems that NASA are now backing up those claims. NASA have described it as being something large and that it's lurking in the far reaches of the solar system. Interestingly, recent studies have shown that whatever this object actually is, it's having an effect on the Kuiper Belt rocks which can be found close to Neptune. This excited many, as for years now there have been theories surrounding whether there was a mysterious Planet 9, and these recent revelations have proved there is something out there having effect on matter close by. Some astronomers have suggested this planet has around 5-6 to six times the mass of Earth. Planet 9 however has remained a mystery for many decades, and this is because researchers are having a tough time seeing it. It's slow and tedious work as researchers currently don't know where to look. The planet will be very faint, and it's one of the reasons behind why it's so tough to pinpoint. Interestingly though, researchers have said the secrets behind this planet might be in some old records. According to a recent study, scientists have said that NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TESS, could be the place to look for this information, saying that in its records a satellite may have recorded details on the planet. One of the issues with this though is that TESS is used to look for planets way past our solar system. It does this by looking for and registering dips in the sky. This will tell us that a planet is orbiting around its star. This wouldn't happen for Planet 9 though as it's much closer to our solar system, and would be much harder to pick up on. With that being said, researchers noted that TESS is pointed at one particular part of the sky for a long period of time, and that there is a slight chance that Planet 9 may have passed by the satellite. Astronomers now have the lengthy task of looking through the data, and seeing if anything was picked up on. NASA released the following statement about the object. In January 2015, Caltech astronomers Konstein Batagin and Mike Brown announced new research that provides evidence of a giant planet tracing an unusual elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The prediction is based on detailed mathematical modelling and computer simulations, not direct observation. This large object could explain the unique orbits of at least five smaller objects discovered in the distant Kuiper belts. Jim Green, director of NASA's Planetary Science Division, said the following. The possibility of a new planet is certainly an exciting one for me as a planetary scientist, and for us all. This is not, however, the detection or discovery of a new planet. It's too early to say with certainty there's a so-called Planet 9. What we're seeing is an early prediction based on modelling from limited observations. It's the start of a process that could lead to an exciting result. The Caltech scientists believe that Planet 9 may have a mass around 10 times that of Earth, and be similar in size to Uranus or Neptune. 
the predicted orbit is around 20 times farther from our Sun on average than Neptune, which orbits the Sun at an average distance of 2.8 billion miles. It would take this new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make just one full orbit around the Sun, when Neptune completes an orbit roughly every 165 years. They explain the gravity of this potential planet might explain the unusual orbits of those Kuiper objects. Astronomers are now looking forward to the future and will start using powerful telescopes in the hopes of tracking down the object. The Caltech astronomers said the following, we would love to find it, but we'd also be perfectly happy if someone else found it. That is why we're publishing this paper. We hope that other people are going to get inspired and start searching. Anytime we have an interesting idea like this, we always apply Carl Sagan's rule for critical thinking, which include independent confirmation of the facts, looking for alternate explanations and encouraging scientific debate. If Planet 9 is out there, We'll find it together, or we'll determine an alternate explanation for the data that we've received so far. Now let's go and explore. The world of astronomy is filled with a number of classifications. These classifications help astronomers to better catalogue and understand a celestial body when it's placed in its appropriate category. A number of these classifications include identifying a celestial body as a planet, a star, a terrestrial planet, a minor planet, a gas giant, or any other description that can help researchers to better understand their findings. Oddly enough, there appears to be a celestial body referred to as the Els Pizarro that is nearly impossible for researchers to categorise given its anomalous properties. Discovered back in 1979, Els Pizarro was originally reported as being a minor planet, with the name of a minor planet 1979 and was said to be inhabiting the asteroid belt located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Interestingly, back in 1996, this hypothesis was soon challenged as images taken by astronomer Eric W. Elst, and Gardo Pizarro noticed the minor planet as having a comet-like tail that pointed to the theory that perhaps the large body was that of a massive icy comet. Shortly after the images were taken, however, the long tail of the comet disappeared and the body returned to being that of a standard asteroid. This has led many to categorise the body as both an asteroid and a comet, until further analysis can be made. Currently, there is a project in the works expected to launch in 2024, with the mission of landing on the minor planet and uncovering its true nature to better understand the possible source of water for our planet Earth during the early formations. Another interesting discovery was made in the constellation Cygnus around 1,470 light-years away, and it goes by the name of tabby stars that continues to baffle scientists. Although physicists have known the stars existed for many decades now, it's been showing weird behaviour in recent years. In May 2017, scientists started observing strange light fluctuations at tabby star. These fluctuations continued throughout 2018, these were pointed out by a researcher named Tabiath. Her nickname was Tabby and so the star was named in her honour. The question is what is going on at Tabby star? Some have theorised that it may be home to an alien civilization that possesses technology we cannot comprehend, while others have put forward the theory of it being just another star with a random natural process. Although physicists have been aware of this star for many years now, Understanding its behaviour has been something that's baffled the world's greatest minds. In May 2017, scientists could see that strange lights were being emitted from Tabby Star, and then throughout 2018 these light fluctuations increased. New research suggests that the fluctuations could be from an exomoon that was recently discovered. This was picked up on by researchers that were searching through old archival footage. What's thrown researchers off though is how much this star dims, with scientists coming forward and saying that on some occasions it's dimmed by over 20%. NASA had this to say about their discovery. A new study using NASA's Splitzer and Swift missions suggests that the cause of the dimming over long periods is likely an uneven dust cloud moving around the star. This flies in the face of the alien megastructure idea and other more exotic speculations. 
researchers found less dimming in the infrared light from the star than its ultraviolet light. Any object larger than dust particles would dim all wavelengths of light equally when passing in front of Tabby's star. This pretty much rules out the alien megastructure theory, as that would not explain the wavelength dependent dimming. We suspect instead there is a cloud of dust orbiting the star with roughly a 700 day orbital period. As of right now, more tests are currently being carried out on Tabby Star. So what do you make of the mysterious Planet 9? And how do you think our ancestors were able to gather information regarding this planet? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.